With the boom in the action camera market, users are now spoiled for choice with a variety of shapes and sizes, aimed at the professional and amateur photographers, adventurers, adrenaline junkies and recreation sports enthusiasts alike, this contender seems to have a lot to offer at a competitive price point. Welcome to Ifty's Tech Corner where today we are looking at the Ion Air Pro. The Ion Air Pro is available in various packages with a range of mounting options and solutions, although the subject of this review, the Air Pro Wi-Fi Lite model, includes the Ion Air Pro camera with a basic bike helmet mounting kit and the Wi-Fi pod which adds wireless functionality. Priced at around the $110 mark, it seems to offer fair value for money at first glance. Let's take a closer look. Within the attractive packaging, users receive the Ion Air camera itself, under which we have a metal accessory box containing a host of accessories, including a curved helmet mount, a L-shaped ball joint mount, an adhesive pad suitably shaped for the helmet mount itself, along with a USB charging cable, a small tripod, and a cam lock key. Finally, we have a pack containing a user guide and other such warranty information. Within a separate airfield package, we have an added attachment in the form of a Wi-Fi pod, which we'll take a more detailed look at shortly. With an aerodynamic tube-like design, the Ion Air Pro looks a lot sleeker than the box-shaped GoPro Hero range of cameras. At 4.21 inches long, 1.46 inches in diameter, and weighing in at 4.5 ounces, the two-tone brushed aluminum frame has a solid, substantial feel, with a lens bubble protruding at one end and a removable cap at the other. The whole package is waterproof to 30 feet right out of the box, giving the Ion Air Pro an advantage over its competitors, which generally require separate housings to withstand the elements. The controls couldn't be simpler with a single power button that doubles as a shutter release and a recording slider on top. Notice how sliding the button also powers the camera on if it's currently switched off, a neat little feature. Although we have a small LED indicator, all inputs are signalled with an internal vibration motor. The bottom edge is where we find the ION's cam lock mounting system, a plastic clip attached to the base of the camera allowing easy attachment and removal from a range of mounting solutions. Talking of mounting, a variety of options are available, although we have a side helmet mount included in this light package, including an L-shaped mounting adapter which pops into the helmet mount. The helmet mount can either be attached using the included adhesive pad or with a strap thanks to the shaped cutouts on the mount itself. The Ion Air Pro itself simply slides and clicks into place or can be removed from mounts with ease by squeezing the two rear ends of the clip together. The cam lock clip itself can be tightened or removed with a flat tip screwdriver, coin or the included keyring to reveal a standard tripod thread, perfect for monopods or the included tripod mount with bendable legs. The business end of the Ion Air Pro is where you'll find its ultra wide angle lens with a 170 degree field of view that puts it on par with its main competitors. The lens sits behind a dome-shaped glass, like that of the original GoPro Hero cameras, which Ion claims allows the Ion Air Pro to shed water better for a clearer shot than a flat glass lens. However, drop this off of a moving vehicle or off of your helmet, and the protruding glass dome will be easier to scratch than a flat glass lens protected by an outer bezel, for example. Although a ring of six small screws around the Ion Air Pro's lens seem to indicate that it may be possible to replace the glass if it does get damaged. Finally, at the back end, the Ion Air Pro has a locking cap that twists and releases to reveal the camera's connections. Here you'll find a micro SD card slot that accepts up to 32 gigabytes of storage, a 3.5 mm AV output, a HDMI mini Type-C connector for AV output, a micro USB connection for syncing files and charging the internal 1200mAh battery which lasts around 2.5 hours, a pinhole reset button, and finally a switch for choosing HD recording modes. That's all standard action camera type stuff, although the Ion Air Pro has an extra trick up its sleeve when purchased with the Wi-Fi accessory, known as the Wi-Fi Pods. Essentially, it's a replacement rear end cap for the camera that enhances the camera's functionalities by adding Wi-Fi connectivity to the Ion Air Pro, 
allowing users to interface with the Ion Air Pro via an app for iPhone or Android. The app allows users to view the files stored on the micro SD card and download those files to the iOS device, share the photos and videos to social networks. There's also a remote feature that lets the user view a live stream of what the camera sees, although note that users cannot record video while simultaneously viewing a live stream, making the live preview more of a framing tool rather than an actual viewfinder. Nevertheless, the ability to adjust many of the camera settings from within the app make it a very easy to set up and use item. For those who do not have an iOS or Android device, the Ion Air Pro Wi-Fi pods would also connect to a PC, Mac or any other Wi-Fi enabled device with a browser. Simply make the ad hoc Wi-Fi connection and go to the camera's IP address in your browser to access the files stored on the SD card and view a live stream from the Ion Air Pro. This browser based interface doesn't give users remote control functions though or access to settings beyond changing the camera's SSID and password. With the standard battery, using the Wi-Fi pods will reduce the Ion Air Pro's approximate two and a half hours battery life to an estimated one hour. Fortunately though, the pods can be turned on and off with the touch of a button. Instead of a blinking red light to indicate recording status, the Ion Air Pro uses vibration feedback to let you know when it's recording. Move the slider to the record position and you'll feel the unit vibrate. Press the shutter button, you'll feel another vibration that indicates a still image has been captured. There's also a single LED on top that glows either green for standby or red for recording. The controls are easy to find and the vibrations are better suited for a camera strapped to your head where you likely won't be able to see the blinking status light. Shooting mode is the only thing you can control on the camera itself. The switch toggles between full HD or HD modes which can be customised when connected to the Wi-Fi app. The still image shutter can also be adjusted for single, burst or time lapse modes. Video uses H.264 compression and is saved as MP4 files. Note that a lower resolution WVGA video file is saved simultaneously for faster online uploading. All settings must be tweaked while the Ion Air Pro is connected to the Wi-Fi app as they can't be done on the camera itself. The beauty of action sports cameras lies in the ability to shoot smooth, high definition video at a wide enough angle to catch all the action. The Ion Air Pro largely delivers on that expectation with clear full HD video and the ability to step up to 60 frames per second for smooth action shots. The field of view changes based on the video settings, which makes it less versatile than the GoPro, but the narrower angles on the Ion Air Pro makes for less pronounced barrel distortion, especially in tight areas. The 1080p video captured by the Ion Air Pro looked good overall, with mostly clear detail, pleasantly saturated colour and accurate white balance. The results were largely comparable with footage captured by the GoPro Hero, but the GoPro has a very clear edge in terms of sharpness and video clarity. The main issue I noticed with the Ion Air Pro was some visible compression that gave the video a slightly grainier quality with some minor loss of sharpness to finer details. The video showed good contrast and rich colour though, although when used handheld I noticed a very mild rolling shutter effect, giving the bumps and shakes a jelly-like quality. The Ion Air Pro can capture still images at 5 megapixel resolution. Barrel distortion is far more pronounced in stills, but the fisheye effect might be desirable for some. Image quality is good with sharp detail and relatively low image noise in outdoor lighting situations. Indoors, noise becomes an issue and darker spots look a bit too dark, but this camera isn't really meant to be used indoors or for its still images anyway. Although the Air Pro incorporates a built-in microphone, audio quality isn't very good. You'll hear a lot of the bumps and jostling of the camera, as well as wind interference, but that's par for the course with this type of camera. There is no external microphone input on this model, users will need to plump for the model higher in the range for that luxury, although as an action camera, overall performance is rather good. The Ion Air Pro Wi-Fi strikes a nice balance between performance, features and price, positioning itself somewhere between the GoPro and the previous Contour line of action cameras. It streamlines a lot of features found in other cameras with a simple two-button interface with vibration feedback and a native waterproof construction that requires no extra accessories or setup. 
video quality is slightly lower than the GoPro Hero cameras in terms of sharpness and clarity, but still looks very good in outdoor settings with bright light. Nevertheless, the ability to snap a photo without having to switch modes is a great addition to the standard action camera feature set. So is the ability to simultaneously record a lower WVGA video for quick sharing or previewing on the go, especially with the use of the additional Wi-Fi pod. Those after an adventure-friendly camcorder on a budget, or a streamlined design for attaching onto a helmet or bike frame, should certainly give the Ion Air Pro a close look. Mm -hmm.